In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at using the suffix ed. Can you remember what a suffix is? Suffixes are endings that are added to root or base words. They change the meaning or the purpose of the word. You used some suffixes last week in your writing. Can you remember any of them? Here are some examples. Can you remember what adding ed to the end of a word does? We add the suffix ed to the end of verbs, which are doing words, to show that something has already happened. So it is in the past. Here is an example. The sentence I shout means that the shouting is happening now. But I shouted means that the shouting has already happened. The shouting is in the past. So adding ed changes shout to shouted. Here is another example. I jump. The jumping is happening now. It is in the present. However, when we add the suffix ed, we get I jumped. Have a look at the text from the book, The Snail in the Whale. Can you find the suffix ed in the text? Sometimes we can't just add ed to the end of a verb. For example, if the verb ends in an e, you need to take the E away and then add ED. So I gaze becomes I gazed. We've taken off the E before we've added our ED. Also, we can't just add ED if the verb ends in a consonant and then a Y. A consonant is any letter that is an A, E, I, O or U. If we have a verb which ends with a consonant and a Y, we change the Y and it becomes an I, then we add our ED. For example, the word carry ends with a consonant and a Y. So I carry the bag is in the present tense. To change carry to carried, we need to take off the Y and replace it with an I. So it becomes, I carried the bag. Here is your task. You can find it in the work pack on the school website. The first thing you need to do is find all the words with a suffix ed in this text. Now I'd like you to tell me how adding the suffix ed to the end of a word changes it. Now have a go at adding the suffix ed to these four words and then see if you can include them in a sentence. Finally, here's a challenge for you. How would we change the words gaze and cry into the past tense. Can we just add the suffix ed or is there something else we need to remember?